retina. Retina is the most sensitive layer of the eye and it is the most important layer and structure of the eye. I will explain you what retina is and where exactly it is on the eye. If you look at this eye, we have got the cornea, the lens and the retina behind. The retina is the neurosensory layer which takes the light from outside and it transmits the light from with the help of its neurons or the nerve cells to the optic nerve and to the brain. This is the most important layer because if there is any damage to the retina then the light will not be properly transmitted to the brain and the vision will not be in the normal condition. So it is very important to study the retina and there are many conditions where the retina may be affected. Some of the conditions which I am going to highlight are the following. Firstly, diabetes. Diabetes affects the retina and damages the retina permanently. This damage is irreversible. It is very important to take care of the blood sugar at all times so as to prevent blindness and prevent any diabetic retinopathy. Second is age related macular degeneration. Age related macular degeneration is a condition in which over the age of 60 to 70 years there is damage to the inner layers of the retina and it results in age related changes in the most sensitive part which is called the macula and it is responsible for the central vision or the main vision with which we read and see the distant objects. So it is very important that if macular degeneration is detected it should be treated very well. Thirdly, in cases of myopia or minus numbers the retina is little stretched and is weak. So regular checkup is very important of the eye as well as the retina in patients who have high numbers or have high degree of myopia. And this is treated by the retina specialist every time whenever a retinal examination is done. So this is the retina and it is carrying the light impulses like an electric current and it goes via the nerve to the brain. This, the structure of the retina shows numerous blood vessels. So there are hemorrhages, exudates and new vessels in diabetes. In these patients we do a test called angiography and we inject a dye which goes into the eye and we take photographs which is called as angiography with a fluorescein dye. Here we can detect all the conditions related to the retina. We can see the new vessels which are formed uh, resulting due to, due to the diabetes. So the new vessels can be seen on angiography and then they can be treated with the laser. Here you can see how the retinal hole is formed. Here the fluid is, uh, gets co collapsed and it pulls the retina resulting in a retinal hole. This is how the retinal hole develops and it has to be treated on an emergency basis to prevent retinal detachment. Retinal detachment, if it occurs, it has to be treated as an emergency. Here you can see that the retina is detached from its normal position and the vision gets totally blurred. Yeah. The treatment for retinal tear is retinal laser, where laser is given around the tear to seal it. If retinal detachment occurs, then a buckling procedure is done. Scleral buckle, it is a silicon buckle which is used 
to seal the tear and cure the retinal detachment. The other treatment for retinal detachment is vitrectomy, wherein we pass an instrument and inside the eye and we remove the fluid of the eye called the vitreous and we inject new fluid into the eye which will settle the retina.